Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Crystal's Food Reviews and Other Things. I got a special one coming up here in a minute, but before I do that, I'd like to let you know about a special company that I've teamed up with, and they're called AdamandEve.com. And you might be saying, what's AdamandEve.com? Well, they got all kind of items on there to help you maintain your sexual health, your sexual pleasures, your uh, sexual relationships. Now, if you use my code Libby, you will get 50% off one item plus free shipping in the United States and Canada. And of course, some exclusions apply. You know, I got to say that. But let's say you find an item on there and it's uh, $12 guess what? It's only going to be six. Let's say you find an item on there that's uh, $30. Guess what? It's only going to be 15. Let's say you find an item on there. <clears throat> I don't know. It's $87. Well, you're only going to pay half of that. And I'm not sure what that is because I don't have a calculator. That's not important. What's important is that you get on there and browse and find something that will help you meet your sexual expectations. My personal favorite item is the Satisfier Pro. Take it with me everywhere I go. I don't care. I'll take it through the airport. Let them screen it. I don't care. Satisfier Pro 2. Check it out. Let's see. Also with Adam and Eve, <clears throat> you know, let's say uh, you get your item and you change your mind. They have a 90-day no-hassle returns. They also have 24-7, uh, you know, hotline you can call. Let's say, you know, you have a question. Hey, I can't find the button on my item. You could call at 3 in the morning. They're going to pick up the phone and say, Hello, AdamandEve.com. How may I help you? Ain't nothing better than that. So if you're like me and you like to do naughty things... Get on AdamandEve.com. These people have been in business for over 50 years. That tells you something. This ain't like the little shop down the street that's been in uh, business for six months and they shut down. Because they ain't got 24-7 uh, customer service. They ain't got free shipping for you or 50% off one item. So get on there. Use my code Libby at AdamandEve.com. And have some fun, y'all. You deserve it. Treat yourself. All right. Thank you. Hey, everybody. It's me, Crystal. And welcome back to another episode of Crystal's, Review, Crystal's Food Reviews and Other Things. Today, I have a special... Uh, I have a special treat for you it's um, Chinese food this is my favorite Chinese food place here in st. Louis it's called quick walk and the reason it's uh, called quick walk is because they're very quick so quick in fact that I didn't even have to oh my lord they gave me so many of these they gave me a bunch of uh, fortune cookies I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, see, she probably thought I was eating for more than one. So, let's just mix these up. And the damn sun is in my eyes. I got to find somebody somewhere better. We're going to open this one. Super K fortune cookie. And hopefully it'll be something good. Some people might say, what's well, bad luck to open it before you eat? Well, this is what I do. If you keep busy learning the tricks of the trade, you may never learn the trade. If you keep, oh, it says if you keep too busy learning the tricks of the trade, you may never learn the trade. And that's very inspirational. I don't exactly know what it means. But that is neither here nor there. I got more food than I usually eat. Man, the sun is terrible. The first item I got, you'll notice, 
Look at it. I got to drive because this sun is really terrible. I'm going to drive up here. You can't even see nothing. Let's just drive in this parking spot and see what it says. That's just as damn bad. Damn. I'm going to put y'all on pause for a minute. All right, that's a little bit better. First item I got, and just because it was on top, and you see this beautiful paper here. It's got a little dragon on it. No, that ain't a dragon. That's a lady. I thought this right here was a dragon. It's an egg roll. And it's deep fried. And if you're anything like me, you like deep fried stuff. I take my, look at that. I take my sweet and sour sauce, which is heavenly. First, I take a bite. And sometimes you got to be careful because it's so hot. It's so deep fried that the grease will squirt out and give you a third degree burn. True story. All right. I take my sweet and sour sauce. It said, did you know the compass was a Chinese invention originally used in religious life? I don't know how that relates, but... Sometimes I, even though it's not hygienic, I like to put my mouth on there. And then I place, oh, sh Lord. I place it inside of there. Mmm. That's good. And after every bite, I'll place more. When I was a child, I grew up in the in the city of St. Louis, and there was Chinese food places everywhere. Some of the best Chinese food you'll ever have in your life. Mmm. Oh. I'm giving this thing five stars out of five. Mm. And you might be saying, Crystal, where have you been? Well, it's been the holidays. I've been traveling all around. You know, I've been with Tammy, my cousin Tammy, for ever. Went and visited Harry. And uh, Denver went and visited, uh, you know, my friend Debbie. I went and visited her on Christmas. Mmm. Mmm. Five stars. Lots of cabbage. Mmm. Damn. If you ever want to come to this place, it's on St. Charles Rock Road. You might even see me up here, because I eat here a lot. It's affordable. Mm. I wasn't supposed to eat all that, but it was so good. Oh, yes, honeys. Lord. Next up, we have the main course. It says thank you. It says enjoy. In a nice font. They really want you to enjoy because they put it on there three times. And this is what I really enjoy about Chinese food. Let's say you don't eat all this. You grab the handle and you carry it into your home. Like this. 
because I don't like eating in my home. I prefer to eat in my car, in the safety of my car. I'm gonna open this. I guess y'all seen in the beginning of this video that I have a commercial with adamandeve.com. And if you're looking for any kind of sexual pleasures, go on there and use my code because that'll help me out, you know? I'm just a gal out here trying to make some money. Just like everybody. All right, I got chicken fried rice and it's stuffed. It's level. They do not cheat you out of nothing. See that steam coming up? And this is the reason I asked for so much. Uh, oh, she gave me too many cookies. I just, I don't understand that. I take this and put it all over the top layer. Oh yes, honeys, we are eating. Did you see my, my cousin Jim got herself a new brand new teeth and she's looking gorgeous she was gorgeous before but look at her now and that sweet tea will not go through them new teeth and i currently right now i got an abscess that's why my face is kind of swole because just in this family there's always uh teeth problems you know because when i when i was a child they put coca-cola in my bottle my baby bottle Mmm. 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 That is really delicious. And you know, I've never been to China, so I don't know if this is uh if this is traditional Chinese food. I don't know if this is American Chinese food. But I tell you what. If I go to China and they got one of these boxes, I don't want nothing to do with it. Oh, Lord. Mmm. What? Write in the comments below what your favorite Chinese food is. Because I want to know. Mmm. 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 You see that steam? Yes, honey. And typically, at, at the Chinese food places around St. Louis here, they carry they carry sodas that's made by Vess. And they didn't have Vess orange, so I got I got crush because I guess they crushed the oranges up, making it into a soda. Just put a bunch of sugar and. I mean, it's a treat. It is a treat. Also, and again, I would never get this much food in one sitting, but I wanted to showcase all these for you. This is what's called a crab rangoon. Also, deep fried. And if I come here and they say, hey, Miss Crystal, we decided we're going to start baking our crab rangoons. You see me, I'd burn out, never to be seen from again. And again, right there in the middle, saturate it, fill it up. And I don't want no comments like, oh, that's not healthy. Mind your business. You you fat shaming me ain't healthy. If bullying a fat person worked, there wouldn't be no fat people. And you might be saying, oh, you look like you've lost some weight. Yes, I have. And don't tell people that they've lost weight it hurts their feelings and that's only because 
I had those surgeries on my legs for my lipedema. I'm able to move around better now. And as a result, I may be shedding a few pounds. I'm not actively trying to lose weight, as you can see, by me eating six deep fried crab rangoons. Inside, a cream cheese mixture with crab. I don't know if it's imitation crab or real. I'm going to eat it regardless. I feel so sad that you can't see no figurines back there. I gotta get a root canal tomorrow. So if you could, please get on uh, Facebook and say, Prayer Warriors, we have a prayer request for Miss Crystal. She gotta get a root canal. And she's scared of needles. And then in turn, and I guess the Lord, I don't know how it works, but I guess the Lord has Facebook and he goes through all his prayer requests. He's typing, you know. And sees which prayers he's going to answer that day. Well, maybe if you put one of those <clears throat> 100s or a couple of emojis, he might see it better. I don't know how it works. All I know is I see lots of folks asking for prayers on Facebook. So it must, it must be a, a thing. I wonder what his name is on Facebook. Is it just Jesus? the Lord I don't know if this is bad luck I'm sorry we're opening it anyway genius is the capacity to, to take infinite pains alrighty I don't know what that means I guess you gotta be a genius I guess I'm not a genius because any kind of pain if somebody pinches me ow I hurt. Alrighty, we're going to dip back into this. Oh, oh. Mm. I hope y'all watched my beautiful Christmas video that I did with Harry because they had hundreds of lights. Christmas lights. And it was really beautiful. Oh, and guess what? It's it's 2022 20, now. We really getting up there, ain't we? Where is my I need more sweet and sour? Lord. And hope y'all had a good Christmas. And that, everybody says, Jesus is the reason for the season. You're right. But you know what else is the reason for the season? Getting presents. What did I get this year? Nothing. I guess that's because, you know, Santa Claus knew I was being naughty this year. But I wasn't being naughty bad. I was just being naughty, you know. Anytime a fellow would be like, hey, you want to get naughty? I'm not about to refuse a man. Unless he's ugly. And even then, if I'm wanting some, I just say, oh, baby, let's turn the lights out. Because I don't mess with ugly men. Unless it's as a last resort. Because I don't have to. Look at me. Do I look like a gal that would like to mess with the ugly man? No. Only the hottest for me. And you can see there's just onions and chicken and egg. It's a complete, it's a complete meal. Egg, protein, starches, everything. Mmm. Oh, I better take a thumbnail. Mm. 
cheese. Cheese. I don't know if y'all came out and saw me and Tammy on tour. It should be it should be called the tour of dicks, cause that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm constantly scanning, looking for the hottest guy in the audience. Then I have my bodyguard go and fetch him. You know. Oh Lord. One thing I don't like in my Chinese food, water chestnut. I don't even know what it is. But it ain't good. Sound off in the comments if you like a water chestnut. Mmm. Damn. Mmm. How's my depression, you say? Oh, it's okay. Mental health is a bitch, I tell you that. One day you're fine. Next day you're laying in bed. You realize you've been laying in bed for three days and you ain't showered in three. And you're starting to stink. And that's when you know depression is real, is when you can smell your own funk. And you don't care. Any other time you smell your own funk, you say, or, you know, from down there. And we say, I need to hit the shower. When you're feeling depressed, you don't even care how stinky you get. You just take the cover and wrap it around you like a little cocoon. Not your head, though. Just put it, and then you ain't, ain't got to smell the funk no more. And it takes two showers to get all the funk off once you do get up. Mm. And I don't have no shame about my depression because I know there's something in my brain that ain't tweaked right, you know. And sometimes I'm going to be depressed. Sometimes I'm not. I just try to keep it keep it moving. Just like that fortune cookie said. If you're busy learning the tricks of the trade. Well, sometimes you just got to stay busy. Other times you think, I got to stay busy, but I can't. And you just lay there. I can't. And you just your body is just overwhelmed with a dark cloud. And sometimes that's what I'll do. I whip out my Satisfier Pro and go to town. And does it always make me not depressed? No, but. Oh, I did get something for Christmas. I got a bag of candy. Only the best for me. Russell Stover's. And then I'll just be sitting here driving and I'll grab one and I'll say, oh, what's this? Milk chocolate caramel. And it has milk chocolate and caramel. Probably going to break my tooth because it's been in my frozen car. Mmm, delicious. Not even hungry. This ain't a very exciting food review. But I just wanted to give you... I call it the, this will be a special series, Taste of St. Louis. Mmm, damn. That's a big piece of chicken. You can see my, it's a special kind of manicure. They try to make it look like, uh, 
it peeled off. And I'm so fancy now, I get the gel manicure. And they have to use the um, little drill to go over your finger. And it tickles so bad, I just be laughing the whole time. Oh, damn. Oh, see how my face is swollen up? Oh. Anyway, I just want to check in with y'all, do a quick thing here. Make sure everybody's doing okay. Um, make sure Santa Claus came and saw you. And if he didn't come, that means you was bad. Not naughty like me. It means you was bad. It means you uh, broke somebody's heart. You uh, stole from a bank. You uh, cheated on a test. All these, all these uh, things are reasons why Santa Claus wouldn't stop. Because he does have a list. I've seen it. He's got two lists. Well, actually, it has one list. It has, it's a big, long paper, like a CVS receipt. And it's got people's names on it. Tommy, Bob, Julio, Clarissa, Janelle. And as soon as them kids or adults get bad, they cross out that name. And they, he puts it on the next big CVS receipt. And it says, bad. And then they take your name off of the list. And it's so complex now when Sandy's in his little uh, sleigh with his reindeer. They have GPS now. Well, he takes your address off of GPS. So he's going to skip. So just remember that for next Christmas. Start being good now. Don't rob a bank. Don't take, go to Target and think, oh, well, this item's only $5. I'm going to put it in my pocket. Don't. Is it worth Santa Claus not coming to your home? That's for you to decide. I want Santa Claus to come to my house. And all this stuff about, oh, leave him cookies. Do you think that Santa can eat cookies at a million homes? He goes to millions of homes every night or, you know, on Christmas night. That man can't eat all them cookies. Save your cookies. Give it to the, you know, less fortunate people that don't have a cookie. Like, I don't usually have cookies at home. And milk, that's just nasty. You put a milk out there, it sits for two or three hours, it gets all curdled, turns into cottage cheese. Sandy don't want cottage, don't, don't want to drink cottage cheese. If you want Santa to be happy when he arrives, leave him a six pack of beer. Uh, maybe a tip, a $5 tip, so they can get gas for the little uh, sleigh. And these are just words of wisdom from Crystal. You don't have to listen. But I'm just saying, plan ahead for next Christmas. You can never start prepping. And the next year, you won't have to, oh, Santa Claus didn't come to my house. Blah, blah, blah. Well, let me know. And Santa will let me see his list. And as soon as your name is crossed off, that's it. You might as well just be bad the rest of the year. Because one thing, and Santa's crossing you out. He's got a big old Sharpie. Where's my Sharpie? He got a big old Sharpie like this. And he will write, Crystal. And as soon as Crystal's bad, he do like this. Then he gets that other receipt. Oh, that says bad crystal. So, heed my warnings is what I'm saying. And thanks for joining me. I'm going to click out of here. And uh, I'll see you next, maybe in a, a week or so. All right. Bye-bye. Nobody's going to believe you know Santa, idiot. Oh, she thinks she knows Santa Claus. Well, I do. I met him in a tavern in 1973. 
oh, that really wasn't Santa. It was a guy with a white beard. Oh, I pulled his beard and it did not come off. He was a good kisser, though, I tell you that. I said, where's Mrs. Claus? And he said, ho, ho, ho. I think he's calling me a ho. 